Uncertainty is the state of not knowing. It is the lack of understanding and awareness of issues, events, paths to follow, or solutions to pursue. If I ask you what is inside this box before opening it and you have no idea or any clue to give a scientific guess, this is uncertainty. Uncertainty and risks are often used interchangeably. In reality, there is a very significant difference between the two of them. We'll go over this difference later in this video. There are different shades of uncertainty. Let's explore them. These are important terms in project management and PMP exam. The first type to discuss is ambiguity. Ambiguity is the state of being unclear or having a multiple outcomes. Ambiguity can be conceptual, related to concepts and wordings. It occurs when people use similar terms or arguments in different ways. The second category of ambiguity is situational. Situational ambiguity surfaces when more than one outcome is possible. For example, a new process is introduced to work, there will be an ambiguity about the outcome or effect of this process on the progress of work. Ambiguity is a serious problem in project management. During the process of collecting requirements from the project stakeholders, misunderstanding the requirements of the project can lead to a lot of changes during execution phase. It is also a serious problem in contracts and can lead to arbitrations if contract clauses are not clear. Complexity is the second shade of uncertainty. It is a characteristic of a program, project, or its environment, which exists when there are many interconnected influences that behave and interact in diverse ways. When the roles and responsibilities are not clear, or when there is an overlapping in power and interest in an organization or a project there is no way of making accurate predictions about the outcomes of events and processes. Notice that there is some overlapping between complexity and ambiguity. Complexity usually causes ambiguity but the opposite is not necessarily true. The third shade we're going to discuss is volatility. A volatile liquid is the liquid that rapidly evaporates at room temperature. Similarly, volatility is when there are ongoing fluctuations in available skill sets or resources in projects and organizations. Imagine working in a company with high employee turnover rate. It is hard to predict the changes affecting your project. So far we saw that ambiguity, complexity, and volatility are shades of uncertainty. Are these conditions risks? The answer is not necessarily. For any uncertainty to be classified as a risk there are two main conditions to be met. First, risks are uncertainties that matter to the project. This means that the uncertainties must have an impact on the project objectives or constraints to be called risks. You can watch our video that describes the importance of these constraints on the value of the project. Suppose your company has some ambiguity in a field of knowledge that is not related, not even remotely to your project. This uncertainty is not a risk for your project. It might be for other projects, but it is not for you. Same applies to complexities in systems not related to your projects or volatility of resources not used by your project. The second condition for an uncertainty to be classified as a risk is the predictability and measurability. In other words, the ability to calculate its probability and impact. If you can assign a probability and calculate the impact of an uncertainty, then it is a risk. A good example would be as follows. If there is a soccer game between two teams you know very well, and you want to place a bet on the result, you can make an educated guess by reviewing and analyzing the past performances of each player, the team, and the results of matches they played against each other. Then you can come up with some numbers, like there is a 30% chance of Team A or Team B winning. And based on this guess you can place your bet. Now assume the same soccer game is between two completely new teams and the players have never played before. Placing a bet would be a big mistake. This situation is called uncertainty. There are other differences between uncertainty and risks but are of minor importance in project management. Now we know the difference between a risk and an uncertainty. We can define a risk as an uncertain event or condition that, if it occurs, has a positive or negative effect on one or more project objectives. This is the definition as mentioned in PIM Book 7th edition. And it is one of the most comprehensive definitions because it encompasses all characteristics of a risk. It is an uncertainty first, that has a probability to occur, and has a measurable impact on the project objectives. This impact can be positive or negative. Risks can also be events or conditions due to ambiguity, complexity or volatility. 
In the next videos, we will explain how to deal with all shades of uncertainties in general with a special focus on risks. We appreciate your support with subscribing, commenting and likes. Thank you for watching.